Okay. So on Google Classroom, I've put two sources for you, but we're going to start with the first source. And uh, you always remember that whatever note you take, you have to give credit to where you found it. So at the top, we're going to identify source number one. Go ahead and write this at the top. Source number one. And this is a film. Write this down, please. And it is called From Nomads, write this down please, to Farmers. And you're going to underline it because it is a complete work. And for now, if you need to find this again, it's on Google Classroom. But where I found it was just YouTube. And in real life, you would probably want to put the uh, address whatever the dot com address is. So that is going to be the first source that we're going to be working from. Okay? So the one thing when you take notes from any sort of a film, the beautiful thing about it and why I love it so much, is you have something called pause. So let's say that you're watching something and you're like, oh, no, 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 it's too fast, it's too fast. What am I going to do? Well, you pause it, write down what you can, and then guess what else you can do? Rewind. Rewind. It's awesome. So you're not stuck trying to remember anything. You can do it at your own pace. You can rewind as much as you need to. So the first set of questions have to do with you as being, you know, you being a geographer. So you're going to talk about, you know, where it's located. What are the names of the rivers? Describe why the location is important. What does Mesopotamia mean? What type of climate is in Mesopotamia? What present day country? So as you are watching the film, you're going to watch a little piece. It's kind of like the rap strategy in reading. You read a paragraph, you stop, you ask yourself, what is it about? Put it in your own words. The difference is instead of a paragraph, you're going to just watch a little chunk. You're going to pause it. You're going to stop. And you're going to ask yourself, well, what, what are the big ideas here that I need to put down in my notes? Uh, then you're just going to bullet your notes just like you did when we just took notes on the eight traits of culture. Okay? So I want you to focus on this area. So where's the film? Okay, everybody look up here. I put it on Google Classroom. Um, so... Uh, when you scroll down, I put a bunch of things on here today, actually, but we're going to start here. Mesopotamia, from nomads to farmers. So you're going to click on that film. Oops, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward just a little bit because I want to show you guys something. Okay. Pit farming. My ancestors used to make their living by hunting wild animals for food. They were constantly on the move following the herds. As okay, so what I would do is I'd look at this, and is this is this the kind of the prehistory or the before? Yeah. Yeah. So when you go to your note packet, I would pause and go, ooh, okay, we're kind of talking about prehistory. So maybe uh, there's something in the historian section. Or maybe it is the archaeologist section. <coughs> and if I don't see anything that is specific to this section of the text, what do I do? If there's nothing in this little section that's going to answer one of these questions, what do I do? You could keep watching and see if there is something. Or there is always space around the edges where you could add some notes. Like maybe you want to talk about this for a second, even if it's not necessarily on you know, asking that specific question. OK, so let's say we're going to, let's look at this section. Two rivers, in fact. Mesopotamia actually means land between the rivers. Oh, pause. Whoa, I think I just saw that somewhere. Everybody look at the geographer section. So everybody look here. Did we read one earlier that asked about what it meant? Yes. Yeah, where? Number three. Number three. What did it say? Do you remember? What does Mesopotamia mean? But what did it say in the film? Do you remember? It means two. Land between oh, two land between two. But let's say we weren't able to just recall that just quickly out of our head. 
what would we do? Rewind. Rewind. So everybody write, put a bullet, everybody, and you're going to put the land between two rivers. Now, I thought, because I kind of was trying to show you something, so I kind of skipped over something. Do you think it had something to do with the two rivers? Yes. Yeah. So when you watch that, I'm pretty sure it's going to tell you the names of the two rivers and talk about the location. Now, is this going to be in order? No. No. And that's the challenge. So you want to make sure you pause it and say, okay, so where am I now? Because you know what? Pretty soon if you turn your, your uh, note, note, your questions over to the back, you're going to learn about cuneiform. You're going to learn about some inventions. You're going to learn about what a ziggurat is. So you're going to be skipping around a little bit. Okay? Here's what I want you to look at. Where did I get this information? The text. In the film. No. Ah, which is what? Film. Film. From Nomad Source, Source one. one. So here's what I want you to get in the habit of doing. Any note you take from this film, just put a one. Just so we know that it's from Source one. Because when we add notes from Source two, we don't want to be confused. Okay. Any questions about that? Are you allowed to pause? Yes. Of course. Oh my goodness, if I was dependent on my memory for everything, it just wouldn't happen. I, so, I just like the rap strategy, you instead of reading a paragraph, you listen to a section, you pause it, and you ask yourself, what are the big ideas, what are the details, and then you, uh, the P stands for put it in your own words. Okay.